Hey everybody, what's up? So, a new tutorial. <sighs> what are we gonna make? We're gonna make this um, V-Ray shader. I wanted to continue on with uh, doing some shaders. That was kind of fun. And this time, like I said, we're gonna make this... Uh, <coughs> uh, it's IKEA Ektor sofa. This kind of uh, material that it has. Uh, I have one of these myself, and I must say, I love it. So, uh, there's plenty of uh, nice details that we get here, and it's all procedural, by the way, so uh, obviously just doing this with a bitmap would be uh, fairly simple, but it's also pixel-dependent using uh, images, so if you can, you should, uh, should go procedural. Uh, so yes, this is what uh, we will be creating, and all the shader tutorials can be download. Uh, all the shaders can be downloaded here on my site. So you have uh, you have this already here and these, uh, and I will be adding more and more <coughs> as I go. Uh, right now, it's uh, not that many, but more will come. So this is kind of the reference that I had, although uh, depending on the cover it kind of looks differently so this is not exactly the way that i have it on my sofa it's more of a cross uh, cross pattern Let's see it so that's what i did here it's it's more of a i mean you, kind of hard to see but what the fuck like that uh can't really see it that much but there is kind of a cross pattern going on and we're going to be creating that and I'll also show you uh, what I do in Photoshop. It's really nothing uh, fancy, but yeah. Let's go over to 3ds Max and uh, get started. So we have a scene here. We have my shader scene that I will be using uh, throughout my uh, shader tutorials that I will be doing. And I'm not really, I'm not gonna go into how I liked it and all that. Uh, so I can save some time. <clears throat> so let's start off with the shader. So we have a V-Ray material. It's applied to our uh, fabric here, or uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, I know I want to use a composite. It's like Photoshop. It's uh, freaking awesome. And I want to be adding a... Let's do a base color first. So I'm going with V-Ray color. And this time I'm not scripting this, so uh, it. Let's see how, how uh, close I can get. I don't even know what kind of color I have. <laughs> I already forgot. Whatever. Let's do something like this to begin with. Uh, add a new layer <coughs> with the Add New Layer button. And now we shall be creating our. Um, pattern and this is uh, of course it's going to be uh, you know this will be added to the bump so uh, and i'm going to have uh, like a it's not going to be uh, apparent that much on, in the diffuse but we can still have a little bit in the diffuse we're going to take a gradient ramp and have black on the sides have a white in the middle, and then we have another white. We're actually gonna have a black here as well. Another black. And then we have a white. So now we can control that. Oops, where's large? Living large. Uh, look at that, let's do some tiling. We're gonna do a lot of tiling. So, uh, better get used to it. I think something like this was kind of okay. Obviously, I was playing around with this. Uh, I've already done it once. But we're gonna have a uh, 45 degrees, like so. Uh, put this blur to 0.1. You could just remove it altogether, but I'm gonna have a 0.1 because that's what I had when I was playing around. Now we need to have some noise because right now it's just very fine. And 
look at this. It's really not like straight, so I need to play around with the noise. And I actually know that I believe it was like this I had, I ended up with. So uh, <coughs> I'm going to keep it like that. And I also have a thousand in Tyre. Looks beautiful, right? Yeah, no. Uh, obviously, this all this is the this is the one uh, that you will be changing if you download my uh, shader because it, this is all depends on your uh, uh, UV map that you have. So this might change for you to make it look good. That's just how it is. <coughs> and uh, let's uh, create a noise so why are we creating noise Birkin noise you need to download it you should already have it otherwise shame on you shame on you so I just want to have some noise in there uh, so although we already have noise so m might be like unnecessary but I had it anyways fractal and uh, I'm not too sure what kind of settings I had but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try this out and uh, what I also did was I copy this inside of this I and this is probably unnecessary but I'm doing it anyways so you learn something uh, excuses right excuses uh, output and now in here I do an instance so <coughs> because I want to invert it if I put an instance right away then if I inverted it inside of here then uh, it would invert this one as well so I'm just gonna save as well or we're gonna make it crash you never know it's like a adventure I'm so excited <coughs> so that's uh, that's one thing let's uh, we can um, perhaps do uh, just a quick render we're far from done, so don't move. And I probably will be. Uh, wow, that's white. That's. Uh, oh, look at me being a pro and all. Yeah, we need to, of course, use some blending modes. 80 perhaps, do a 20 on that, and multiply. So I just assume that you guys know Photoshop, so not really need to explain the blending modes and opacity. Uh, so let's try this again. And by the way, I will be, uh, I will uh, pause the videos or do a fast forward or whatever because you don't want to see this. This one I'm not gonna be pausing, so I'm I'm doing this at at two K by two K. Uh, this is like fine detail, so if I were to render this in a lower resolution, we wouldn't really see all of this stuff. So this is okay. Totally a good start. So um, yeah, another thing I I might just mention it. Um, this is quite important because this is, like I said, fine detail. So I'm having the color threshold pretty low. I mean, it's not super low, not extreme low. Um, but um, if I were to have it like this, I mean, it, everything would just blur out. Uh, you wouldn't really see much of the lines. <coughs> so keep that in mind. Well, if you try it yourself, that you need to have okay render settings. Um, yeah, so that's that. Now, w with fabrics like this, you usually have a fall-off map. So you have a darker and a lighter version. So depending on... Uh, so depending on uh, the viewing angle, it's going to be like, uh, so grazing angles will have a lighter version, so we're going to use the fall off. 
Okay, I'm just to have this standard. I will just copy this over. And what are we gonna do? I'm just gonna lower this. I'm just gonna do that. Make it a tad brighter, like so. Gorge, so gorge. Now <clears throat> we do a uh, mix curve so we can say how it's going to be blend. Can we even see it here? It's so tiny, as you can see here. This is a bit brighter. Oh, it doesn't do anything. What am I doing wrong? I'm such an idiot. Well, it's doing something, yet it's okay. I'm going to keep it like that. really looks weird but it's okay it's okay to look weird let's put on my custom viewer I'm, I'm lost losing my words when I uh, record so I'm using the GGX I'm doing that for everything <coughs> it's uh, how it falls off the, the specular highlight the reflection bec because we are going to use a reflection uh, so yeah, I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna just take this the first one we had. Do a well. We actually have to do a copy. I'm just gonna set this to white. Really? Oh yeah. See, I'm totally forgetting everything. I'm doing it like that. Perhaps we can lower this and I'm just gonna control this by <coughs> using this slider here so I want to have a full reflection just gonna blend between that and the color that we have here which is black which is non-reflective and the glossiness <coughs> I believe would like something like that 0.45 and let's see let's just place this in the bump as well because that's what we're going to use it's a copy i believe i use like 60 so quite high but whatever whatever so <clears throat> here's the we're going to do the cross section thingy and I believe it was like 180 was probably correct let's just see I'm gonna hide this one lower no 120 there we go 120 it's a nice crossing and I believe I think I had this as 80 and this like, I don't know, 30 perhaps, I think. <clears throat> so let's do a test render and uh, you see how this looks and I'll be back soon. So I kind of stopped the render because something wasn't right uh, and uh, it's the... It is our lines. They need to be more, more uh, noisy, higher noise rate. And yeah, this is so over the instance. This should, yeah, that's right. So let's go in and take this again. And in this one, we copy paste instance do the same little thing here now we don't have to change these either we want to end up just having to touch one of these <coughs> and uh, this one of course needs to be an instance as well instance 
soon. Let me go to a pump uh, instance. Now this cannot be an instance. So we just make a regular copy on this. Gets us to 120 again because we're changing the angles so we can't have an instance on that. <coughs> and let's see, um, let's just do a quick mental here, quick regen. You can join me in my render adventure. So it's gonna be more or like uh, depending on how bright it is. So barely see it here, it's just nice. Just the way it should be, I think. So we're gonna do a comparison uh, with and without the cross section thingy. <coughs> and the colors is, uh, is too bright, I think. For the diffuse, we need to change that. So let's cancel that and hide the one of the lines and do like so. We can hide this red one so we can see it better. It's not a huge deal, but it's something which I think looks better. <coughs> it's not as clean. And uh, I think we can lower this size. I'm gonna put this to point three. I think that's okay. And we perhaps need to do this for everyone. So that's one thing as well where we should be doing. I'm gonna copy this, paste instance. Super fun. Paste instance. Let's go to our bumpy, paste instance. <laughs> Let's uh, <coughs> tweak our, our color. So I, I want to have the brown one. We can add a new layer. Uh, add it under here. No, like so. Do a worker noise. see this on our uh, shader. I'm gonna take this, uh, no, I'm gonna take this, copy, the color only, paste, whoa. No, you can actually drag it like this and copy. Let's make it darker, like so. And maybe we should have like a fractal of some sort. Not sure which one is good. Oh, I see that. That's a good one. <coughs> Let's go for turbulence. Uh, here we can use like maybe a overlay. Soft light is a bit softer. So like eighty percent. Just copy this one, duplicate, copy that. What did I do? Okay, so we do it again, or maybe we don't need to. We might skip that one. It's just gonna be sh shown in the grazing angles anyways. In my shader I do have it, but you get the point. Let's do a test render again and see where we are. So here's what we have and it's pretty good. It's getting there. Uh, I'm not running in a whole thing. It takes about 20 minutes with these settings. It's okay, but about 13 minutes without the background actually. So 
Uh, what we can change though is this gradient here and have less black. I think this can it can do quite a lot to have more white. So something like so. And uh, like always, I don't trust anything, so I better just check it. Yeah, it's okay. But this one, we actually do need to change. So I guess I just have to do a copy, paste this in, and do once again change these. So now we have a bit smaller. So let's do a test render on something. Yeah, I think that's better. Yep. It's a little bit, but you know, all the small things. Know the song. Blink. So, what else? What else can we do? Let's see. Uh, so, we have some variation here in the colors. Of course, you can change this as well in the shader that you can download. Uh, that and. Uh, and. Uh, tiling of these. do actually I mean it might help so let's just copy this. I don't have that on the shader I might change that so let's just do this here do a multiply do like a, I don't know 40 perhaps suppose we need to do that here as well. But now I do an instance that. Shit. Like so, it should be here okay. Or was it like 30? And do one more time. I don't know. It's a bit harsh. Mm. I don't know. I'm going to hide these. Like so. And uh, that is basically it. We can uh, perhaps make it a bit more reflective. And uh, make another render. Let's do it somewhere else. Yeah, I think it looks pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. So you can, of course, uh, you know, you can add uh, a lot, a lot of more details, just uh, using uh, the layers here. Add more stuff to it if you want to. But I think we are getting to a pretty good result. Let's try. Let's just try a new color for fun. And then we go into Photoshop. Let's make it like a blue, a nice blue. Really? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. So it wasn't really a noise. Hmm. Let's redo this a little bit. Make it a bit 
darker. Something like so. I'm gonna play with this all over the fractal. It's a soft. Paste this color in, make this lighter, like so, and try a render. So we are near the end. I did uh, change the color a little bit, and I also uh, up the color threshold so it's uh, not as detailed and it, we can still see some details here but uh, you should do it with a bit better setting such as point one, point oh one, I mean so yeah Uh, hopefully you're taking something out of this tutorial and learn something. We're gonna go into Photoshop soon. Uh, something to keep in mind is, you know, everything is reflective. Uh, it's just a matter of how blurry the reflection is. <coughs> and it does a lot. So if you would skip uh, the, reflex uh, the reflection on something that is very blurry, it really would change the look of it. So definitely... Uh, use reflection on pretty much anything, I suppose. Uh, just with a very low glossiness. I n didn't bother putting a um, map in the glossiness. I mm, I don't know if that even if it does that much for us in this case. So therefore, I skipped it. So uh, I'm just gonna save this out, and uh, we're gonna hop into Photoshop. So now we're in Photoshop and uh, let's do the post work, which is like bare minimum for uh, the one uh, for these kind of shader balls that I uh, upload. Uh, but let's, I figure I could show it anyways. I'm basically just doing a curves just to give it a little contrast. It always looks nice. You can also. <clears throat> and this is pretty much the same. I mean, ev most of these things does pretty much the same thing, really. Uh, so I can like get this, do that, and set this to uh, I don't know, soft light. As you can see, what this does is uh, it same thing, contrast thing, overlay, soft light. These give you contrast. They are using both the white and the black. Uh, this one is only using the dark values and this one only using the light values so uh, if that I actually help I don't know let's put this to like I don't know 25 so basically these two does the same thing so I'm gonna just double the effect more or less but just copy this one and do a merge group and I'm then going to do the beautiful smart sharpen which does a lot honestly uh, so depending on the resolution and all that this might change but I think this looks pretty okay so we can now zoom in to 100 and I think it looks pretty nice even though it's uh, not the best quality of renders uh, it's pretty damn uh, pretty damn sexy to me so that's pretty much it <coughs> hopefully you uh, learned something from this tutorial it was a bit of a mess but uh, if you uh, if you did check it all the way through hopefully you uh, didn't waste too much time uh, remember to uh, visit my site and download my shaders if you want to uh, and uh, I guess we'll see you whenever I make a new tutorial. Bye-bye.